What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally, and I mean literally, does not work. Hope everybody's having a great day. I want to give you guys a little update on a few things, and this is where I'm kind of connecting the dots here for a second. Um, and maybe I'm crazy, maybe I'm, you know, uh, just thinking too much but trying to connect the dots of what we've gotten from Stephen jones Stephen jones who is, is of course the he's not he, he's not the owner but he's running the organization right now let's be clear here if there's any doubt in your mind uh lose it Stephen jones is it's running the team um he said earlier today that uh you know people expect these things to be done instantly um but there's a lot of work that has to be done to him and says hopefully we'll get one or two of these things done hopefully we get one or two of these things done now he said also that they hope to have Dak Prescott's deal done by week one so if I'm putting these two things together if you're saying one or two things and you're only saying that we're hoping to have Dak done by week one. Does this mean that the priority is Dak Prescott? Is, is that what you're saying, Stephen? Because that's what I take out of this. Now, Dak says the contracts are progressing. I saw a little thing yesterday that they said that they're further apart than Pretty Ricky said that they were. Um, Pretty Ricky had stated a couple of days ago, actually when I was still in California, that the number was agreed on per year, but it was the guarantee money, the language in it, and everything else that they were working on to get it together. So I'm trying to understand, are we looking at Dak Prescott getting signed and possibly C.D. Lamb ends up having to play on his fifth-year option? Am I crazy to think that? Because literally, that's what it seems like. But be that as it may, I want to ask you guys, I want to ask you guys how you feel about the defense this year. How do you feel about your D? Pause. Because I feel right now, I feel better about where the defense is than where I was. Yes, we lose Stephon Gilmore. But Diggs, I don't know if you've looked at this. But yesterday and today, you've got Diggs flying all over the field. Does I, I, I'm looking and thinking he's going to be playing day one. I see him flying around the field a lot more than a lot of other guys. And he doesn't seem to have any effects. Now, I was worried last I'll be honest with you. I was worried last week because a couple of those practices, he wasn't in pads and everything else and practicing with the guys. So from that standpoint, we may be in good shape right there. Diggs may be a better cornerback right now than Stephon than Stephon Gilmore. I, I think that that's a safe bet. I think Deron Bland should be better in his third year than he was in the second. And uh, Jordan Lewis has been Mr. Steady. Marquez Bell back at safety. We've seen him, you know, interception on Sunday. And Malik Hooker has been outstanding at safety. And looking at our linebackers, Overshone, Overshone and Kendricks just showing up is better than what we had going to the end of the season. Now, a lot of you all still are, you know, on the mind. I, I don't understand the hate of some of you guys. I just don't understand it. I'm on the Mozzie train. I am on the Mozzie train because I pointed some things out to you guys that were key about Mozzie Smith. And Mozzie Smith... The more I get to know this guy, the more I really and truly like what I'm seeing and hearing from him. I don't know how good he's going to be, but it's not going. if he's not great, it's not going to be from a lack of trying because he is putting in, the, I mean, really putting in the work. And you cannot argue with him. And I'm trying to find... Um, it's so funny to me. This is a quote from Mozzie. 
I think I'm talented enough to make any play that comes inside. And I got to get to the point where I'm doing that. So, Mozzie Smith, and this is from Patrick Walker. Mozzie Smith under Jonathan Hankins and now with Jordan Phillips headed to the Cowboys was candid on the move and player and why Jeff Zagonia is the perfect for his development and move. It's a tough sport. This ain't Candyland. Ain't no joke. It ain't Candyland. It's hard work. And see, what I told you guys, I told you, okay? Here's what I told you. I told you about Mozzie Smith. Every day I was there, he was the first player out on the field. He was out there with the punters working with Jeff uh, Zagonia. And here, and I told you, Mozzie Smith, one of the last people off the field. And here we have, right now, Micah Parsons. Micah Parsons, who is becoming the de facto leader. Now, now I want you to notice something here before we play the clip. Take a look at the crowds. In this shot, this is one section. There's two of these sections of bleachers. I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty people in the stands. Now, all the people that are here on the fence line close to the players. They're paying $23 each day that they're there. And in past years, when I've been there, if you're not there early, you're behind three or four people. There are no crowds there in Oxnard right now. But what I want you to understand here is practice is over. And guess who's out there? Mozzie Smith and Micah Parsons. Take a look. They're getting in some extra running. They're getting in some extra running. Or extra coaching. But here we go. Now, in case you don't know, when you're a big guy and you got to carry 310 pounds across the field, it ain't easy, bro. It ain't easy. The guy is putting in the work. He is right now a sponge sucking up as much knowledge as he can be. And if this team is going to be successful, where we're going to be successful is we're going to get the rookies bump a year late. We're going to see Mozzie Smith be able to play better than Hankins. And we're going to see Overshone be able to play like we had hoped before he got the ACL. Schoonmaker, I don't know. I, I honestly don't know with Schoonmaker. Um, there's not a whole lot of noise and buzz about him. Um, he hasn't been injured, so we can say that much. But if this team's going to do well, it's going to be because we get a big bump up from those guys. And it looks like, here's the thing that's kind of crazy, um, is Tyler Guyton looks to be a road grader and looking to have some of the ferocity that Tyron Smith had. Tyron Smith in his younger days could literally take his left arm and just throw a man. And you're seeing Tyler Guyton, AKA Twinkle Toes, Twinkle Toes, because he's got good footwork being that guy. And as much as they wanted to have um, Cooper Beebe as a number two, Cooper Beebe's aggression and ability to knock people around is impressing as well is impressing as well looking at the wrong camera here sorry is impressing as well so there you have it good people is Dak Prescott the only one that's going to have a contract sign this year is that the way we look at it Mozzie Smith working his ass off every day every day he's hustling Micah Parsons working and welcoming the guys on the team and getting them in the fold and becoming the de facto leader. And um, there you have it, good people. You're up to speed with all that is the Cowboys. Candyland. It's ain't Candyland, bro. I appreciate you guys. And as always, 
See you soon.